host Young here, and it's a wonderful Sunday. And what are we doing? We're shopping. We're shopping for player props. That's what we do here at Pick Dogs. I'm going to be looking at all the games that's going on today, okay? I got you guys covered in NBA. I got you guys got covered for all the NFL afternoon later games and the night games. Then I'm going to slide on over to the NHL and give you guys some Hockey props to get on top. But before we do that, man, let me know what you guys are betting on today, man. What's the song to play, man? I mean, what are we on today, okay? I'm going to tell you like this. I'm waking up and I'm going to play um, I'm gonna play Dave East today, okay? Um, I'm going to probably play, uh, you know, every night from Dave East. You know, get that one, get me motivated. But what are you guys uh, betting on today? Let me know your top bets in the section below. What are you guys betting on Hey, man, what you guys think about them college bowl games, man? Georgia put up, like, 64 points, man. It was crazy, right? I mean, hey, man, you never know what happened, man. And then Florida State, oh, man, we ain't even going to talk about them. All right, now, look, man, first player prop that I like. I'm going to be looking at Deontay Johnson for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm taking him over three and a half receptions. He's taking on uh, the Seattle Seahawks, man. This player prop of his is low. When I mean it's low, it's low. Two years ago, we was giving it out at five and a half back to back, and he was cashing on it. Now it's at three and a half because, you know, the quarterback questions are going on over there. But I'm taking Deontay Johnson over three and a half. That's player prop number one. Player prop number two, I'm going to be looking at the wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks, DK Metcalf, over four and a half receptions. Player prop number three, taking my boy Jackson Smith and Jigba over four receptions, man. This guy's been just. Tearing it up as a rookie out there, man. Sprinkle on his touchdown, too, because he's one of those guys that goes vertical and gets deep. So, you know, he gets behind those uh, corners and gets in that end zone. So take Smith and Jigbo over four receptions. Player prop number four. Let's go with Rasheed Rice, man. Wide receiver from Kansas City Chiefs, man. Last game out, we gave him out, but he left us at the altar at six. We just needed one more. The thing is this. The Kansas City Chiefs are bad, bro. They don't got no receivers. They don't got nobody stepping up. And that guy, Travis Kelsey, it seems like he don't even play no more, man. Travis Kelsey is not him no more. Rasheed Rice is starting to be him. Take him over six receptions. All right. Player prop number five. I'm going to be looking at the wide receiver from the Cincinnati Bengals, Jamar Chase, over five and a half receptions. He's back in the lineup now. Missed a couple of weeks now with some injuries. But, you know, Browning was looking decent out there, you know, with receivers. He definitely is going to need that Jamar Chase out there helping him out. Take Jamar Chase over five and a half receptions. Then I'm going to move on to the Green Bay Packers game, okay? I'm going to be taking Jaden Reed over four and a half receptions, man. Yes, man. Christian Watson's still out, you know. Dobbs is a decent target over there, but Jaden Reed is that guy that just goes out there for those quick little uh, slots and screens. So, you know, I'm taking Jaden Reed over four and a half receptions. I think you could ladder him up to six or seven receptions in this game. And then I'm going to be sliding over to the Minnesota Vikings. I'm going to be taking Justin Jefferson over six and a half receptions, man. No Jordan Addison. No TJ Hawkinson. I mean, what more do you need, man? Justin Jefferson, hey, he hasn't had a good game since he's been back. I think this would be that game, folks. Take him over six and a half receptions. And my last reception player prop that I like, I'm going to be looking at the San Diego Chargers, okay? Taking on the Denver Broncos, man. I just don't see how the Denver Broncos are still favorite, but I, whatever. We ain't here for that, man. I'm taking Gerald Everett over four and a half receptions. The tight end for the San Diego Chargers, man. Yes, no Keenan Allen out there. No uh, Michael Williams out there. Austin Eckler hasn't been that same running back catching all those passes out the backfield. Gerald Everett has been one of the more consistent receivers for the San for the Los Angeles Chargers, okay? So let's take Gerald Everett over four and a half receptions. My anytime touchdowns, let's go ahead and do it. I'm doing Kenneth Walker running back for the Seattle Seahawks. I think he gets in the end zone. I'm taking Isaiah Pacheco running back for the Kansas City Chiefs. I think he gets in the end zone. I'm taking Javante Williams, the running back for the Denver Broncos. And then I'm taking Mr. Mr. Jones, Aaron Jones, running back for the Green Bay Packers, finally getting back into the roster and lineup. And, uh, you know, when it got down to it, the Green Bay Packers haven't been able to score a lot of touchdowns. I think Aaron Jones is going to help him out with that. All right. Now let's head on over to the NBA. All right. Grizzlies taking on the Sacramento Kings. You already know me. I'm a Sacramento Kings fan. I'm saying like the bean, but I ain't here for that. I'm having to tell you, take John Moran over 27 and a half points, hitting at a 60% clip. 60% clip adds up to three out of his last five times. If he played this prop, he came out on top. Look, he hasn't been hitting his point prop the last couple of games, but 
Cool. We haven't gave him out on those. This one, he's going for it, folks. Against my Sacramento Kings, trust me, he's going for it. I got him down for 34 points. Take John Moran over 27. All right. Number two, I'm taking my guy, Paolo Banchero, over 23 and a half points, man. I mean, hitting at a 60% clip. He's taking on the Phoenix Suns. I think this is going to be a, a game the way he's going to showcase his skills and show everybody, look, man, I'm just like y'all, but I'm coming up. And now I'm taking Paulo Banchero over six and a half rebounds, hitting at an 80% clip. 80% clip, four out of his last five times we played this prop. You came out on top. All right. Now, got a few more player props that I like. But before we do that, I need everybody out there to smash that like button for me one time, man. We need to get these uh, likes up to 100. And I need to get all these comments up to like 50 or something. So let me know what you guys are betting on today. Let me know who's your best football uh, parlay. And hey, man, what's your best player prop to get on top? All right, next, I'm going to be looking at my guy, Slim Brandon Ingram, taking on the Los Angeles Lakers, over 22 and a half points, man. 60% clip adds up to three out of his last five times. You already know he came out on top. Man, whenever he faces the Lakers, he always got something a little bit more to play for and show, man. He was the guy that they traded out and was like, hey, man, um, you know, we don't really need you. We got this thing going over here with everybody else. It proved him right because once he got off that team, he went from averaging 17 points up to 24, making an all-star appearance and more. So take Brandon Ingram over 22 and a half points. I think he's going to go out there and showcase himself. Next, I'm going to be looking at the Phoenix Suns taking on the Orlando Magic. I like Kevin Durant over 26 and a half points, hitting out a 60% clip. Last but not least, I'm taking Kyle Kuzma uh, for the Washington Wizards, taking on the Atlanta Hawks. I'm taking him over 24 and a half points, man. Him and Jordan Poole has been the only way the points been going in uh, for these teams. And it's just one of those things to where, you know, Kyle Kuzma, he's that number one option. And he's shooting the ball. He's rebounding as well, too. And I'm taking Kyle Kuzma over six and a half rebounds, too, as well. All right. Now, look, man, if you guys want to see what I'm betting on, my best bets, head on over to the site, Pick Dogs. I got it all up there for you on the site. Now it's time for the recap time. All right. We're taking Johnson over three and a half. We're taking Metcalf over four and a half. And Jigba over four. Rice over six. Chase over five and a half. Reed over four and a half. Jefferson over six and a half. Everett over four and a half. Walker anytime touchdown. Pacheco anytime touchdown. Williams anytime touchdown. Aaron Jones anytime touchdown. We're taking Ja Morant over 27 and a half points. We're taking Paulo Banchero over 23 points. We're taking Paulo Banchero over six and a half rebounds. Ingram over 22 points. Kevin Durant over 26 points. Cal Kuzma over 24 and a half. Connor Bedard over two and a half shots on goal for the Chicago Blackhawks taking on the Dallas Stars. I forgot to roll that one out, but I remembered it in the recap. So look, we're taking Connor Bedard over two and a half shots on goal, hitting at an 80% clip. Mills Young here, part of Pig Dogs. If you can't roll with the Pig Dogs, stay on the porch because we prop shopping.